I sometimes wonder, really sometimes wonder how some people can work hard all their life and get nothing. And other people seem to have everything and don't work half as hard. So we're at the bridge now. I don't know what river that is. You can see how beautiful it is around here. Just zoom in on that house for you. I think that's the lake house up there. Like I say, just walk across the bridge. We haven't got a uh, geese here at the moment, Canadian geese. Really want to show you this. It's absolutely gorgeous round here. And we're going to go down the side of this fence. And eventually we'll come back to the East or West Lodge. Just look at that. Just imagine waking up in that house every morning. With the lake next door to it. Time I got lost, I ended up on the actual road that ran through here, and uh, I got chatting to a guy who was cutting the grass round here, and he said, uh, he told me the right way to come in, no hassle from him. And uh, the thing was, you can see the back end of uh, Furbeck Holes just through there somewhere. When I was on that road, you could see Furbeck Hall. I'll show you one last view because we're going to be coming out in a minute. There's down to the house, it's behind those trees. But you can, like I said, you can see more if you come in. Don't like to pry too much, but like I said, I'm on a public footpath. And if I'm right, somewhere up there, there's like a, a road coming through the estate. I think you can get into the back end of Furbeck all that way as well. Because when I was on that road, I mistakenly, uh, see there's a style there. Just show you that, that's a style. And we're back on a what looks like a footpath. But nobody tells you about these places. You have to hunt them out. Like I say, I'm not against anybody earning money, but sometimes it really puzzles me how these people manage to get this amount of money. But when you look at the pandemic, and what's going on at the moment? Contracts being awarded to friends and family by the government. I think we know, don't we? Some people don't always hear. Amass the wealth fairly, but you'll come up to a, a gate these look like old farm buildings around here. See this gate entrance here? You can just see what it's like around here. This gate is automatic. Don't know whether it works on vehicle registration numbers or what. You can see a, a side gate on it. Just there. I 
and this road will take me back out where the lodge house is but it's not very well signposted through the actual site could do a yellow post if they're ever concerned about people trespassing on there I'll probably need to stick some yellow posts and make it a bit easier for people to find the way around What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn left here back into the village I'm going to go up the village and back out the top and I can show you the uh, beautiful cottages at the top so when I get to the end of here turn left past the lodge back to the Black Lion Hotel to the top of uh, Furbeck Village I think that takes me back into Lawton on the moor, then I'll find out when I get there anyway. I think I've been out since about one o'clock. It's now half past one. I do shift when I get going, do stop and talk to people, but I'll probably walk at five miles an hour once I get going. This is the entrance to the lodge here, they've got like a garage at the side, that's actual lodge there, West Lodge it is definitely, says it on the gate. So I'm heading back towards the village, when I get to the uh, White Lion pub, I'll peek back up with you. In fact that's one last look at the lodge, West Lodge. That's the entrance way into the Furbeck Hall at the moment. So I'm back in the village of Furbeck and if you didn't want to do that loop I've just done, you could have followed this route back that I'm going to follow back now. So I'm back on my way home where I've done that extra loop because I wanted to show you the back of the house. I wanted to show you that beautiful walk through the actual uh, estate. The only problem is with this direction now, we're going to have the sun in our eyes all the way back, so uh, I'll pick up with you at the top end where the nice cottages are. Alright, I've just seen something of interest. Where the farmhouse is, where Manor Farm is, there's a signpost there, Bridalway. So if you go down here, what I'm going to show you is where the uh, airfield was and also uh, I'm not going to go right up but what I'm going to do is show you the like monument to the actual airfield so uh, if I just uh, Zoom in, you find a monument just there, that monument is a monument to the airfield, originally it was a private airfield they built so that people could fly into Furbeck Hall when it was a country hotel in the 1930s, then during the war it was used as an RAF base 
and I think it was closed sometime after that. But, you know, it's a bit like the Netherthorn aerodrome. It must have been fantastic. If you could afford to fly a plane in. So that's where it is anyway. You'll know where Furbeck uh, airfield was. So I'm going to go back to the main road, back to the top of the village and show you the lovely cottages up there. So that's to the bottom end of the village where the uh, black line was and I'm just about at the top end of the village now. There's two beautiful cottages on this bend. But the problem is the sunlight's uh, into me at the moment, so the uh, images won't be as nice. Like I said, it's well worth having a, a walk go let well Furbeck and then straight home. So that's one cottage. I'm gonna see. There's the other one, it's a bit hidden behind a tree. There's the other cottage. I'm just going to spin back around because it all, it's always nice driving into this village in spring when the daffodils are here. Let's see if I can show you the shot. So that's the view into the village. The Furbeck. So we're coming back out now, top end. As you can see, the airfield would have been over there-ish. Right, let's see if we can get around here a bit better. The airfield would have been somewhere over there. What we're going to do is come up to some cottages just here and I always wonder if these cottages were built for the RAF during the war or whether because it just seems to me as though they'd have been absolutely perfect for people billeting down at that time for the airfield so I'll uh, switch back on just as I get up to the cottages all right, so I'm just looking back down to where the uh, air drone would have been from this top end. What I want to try and do is pull in the monument for you. There you can see the monument to the airfield just there. Tells you all about the servicemen that served there. I think there were a lot of some Polish guys. That's the monument. You can just imagine in that area from over there to Round there would have been the RAF field for Furbeck, RAF Furbeck. So I'm back on the main road again, going back up to where the cottages are. And when I just get past the cottages, I'll show a shot down to them because it's going to be a better angle with the light. I'm at the top of Furbeck now, and I've just spoke to a guy. I wonder if these were the uh, cottages for the RAF. I know they weren't, what they were for the wood yard, there used to be a wood yard around here-ish. And these were the cottages for the workers, so uh, that takes you back down into Furbeck. Now there's two routes back. That takes you to Lawton. And that takes you to Dinnington. And uh, 
I think I'm going to go the Dinnington route back because that'll take me back to where the Lordens uh, Hotel was, the top of Lordens Hill. And uh, it's probably more interesting for people. Because my last walk started from Lorton on the Mortham. So I'm going to go this way and uh, end up back at Lorden's uh, Hotel or Top of Lorden's Road. So when I find something interesting on this route back, it's such a shame that the sun's into my eyes this time, so the vision isn't going to be so good, but I can always turn back and show you the angle backwards. So I thought I'd just put my camera back on, so I'm just going to turn back and show you the house. Should be able to see a house over there. Zoom in. Views better when we're coming from the other end. Just seeing a sign on a, a field there, it says something to do with approved beef and something on it. Never seen signs like that before. I wonder if it's something to do with uh, Brexit. Whether we're going to have another type of bureaucracy from EU bureaucracy. to uh, British bureaucracy. But this area here just so reminds me of uh, being in the Peak District. There's a beautiful spot here if you're ever out. Sit down and have a picnic on the wall by the side of the little stream, or brook. Turn around and show you this small lake here. It's a Thwaites farmhouse, I don't know a lot about it. Certainly doesn't look like the original farm building. Looks far too big for the original and too new for the original, but it's called Thwaite Thwaite House Farm. Somebody thinks they live at the stately home with the, I uh, forgot what they call these little places now that they build. You find them all around places like Clumber Park. Normally there's lovely black lambs around here, but not today. The stream comes from the top end. Down here, it's absolutely beautiful around here. Like I said, to me, this just looks like being in centre of Derbyshire. <coughs> there is a farm, well, it looks like the original farm buildings are here, but the actual farm's now been converted into a to an house of some kind. And uh, That's the road there, taking you up to Old Coates from Dinnington. But it looks like they, they still have some 
buildings here, so what I think's actually happened is there's a farm down here though. See a farm up here. But what looks like a farm on the other side, and I can't find anything on it, if anybody knows, it looks like the buildings are being used for another farm, unless they belong to the farm that I've just shown you there. But I didn't know if it's where another farm, farms took it over. But we've turned up off that main road onto this track. And I'm now gonna head back to Laisley. Some cottages here. The only problem is no good for me because there's no way I'm leaving my car outside in the middle of winter. See the uh, Bradway signs? We're going to go left, I think. I'm just trying to get my bearings now. Yeah. Go We're going left and then we're going to turn right. Like I said, I've lost my bearings of not being out here since the first lockdown in June. I'm just going to show you Lightwell Church over there. Lightwell was the first village There, that was the first village I came through. St. Peter's Church there. Like I said, I don't know if this, that was, was the original farmhouse there, and then you can see some farm buildings. So I, what I reckon is that there was two distinct separate farms, and then whether the farm next to us took it over or whether some distant farms took it over. But what we found is during Brexit that we wanted to put Brexit signs in the fields at the side of the A57 in Anston and they were actually owned by some large firm at Retford who didn't particularly want Brexit signs in the fields because they were benefiting from the EU grants. So uh, you live and learn all the time. So I'm heading back up here to Lays Lane. I say people are friendly enough if you're lost. There's that cottage again. People are friendly enough if you've lost your way. And like I said, when I've gone on the wrong road through the estate, the lake house area, and uh, spoke to a guy, they're quite happy to put you on the right route, there's no issue. You're not going to get fined for illegal trespass. It's a civil law offence. If you've trespassed by mistake, they have to take you to court, and they're not going to take you to court for trespassing by mistake. Like I said, on the lake house. I think they could have a uh, better sign posted it with yellow posts through the estate. I'm just gonna show you back over there. Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous round here. We're heading back up to a, a wood. I'm just gonna follow the track up and I'll pick the track back up and carry on. So that's a view back to where I've come from, from the farm, the cottage down there. View around here. That road takes you over to Old Coates, Lightwell Church.
trying to find Letwell Church again. Yeah, Letwell Church over there. And then I'm coming back up to the wood. I, would, I didn't really do these walks until five years ago, but I do remember the walks from being in the scouts and the cubs doing like rondo type walks where we go out on a Sunday and do a walk and then come back and have some soup. So I'm coming through a wooded area now. And then once I get through this wooded area, I'll pick you back up on the outside of the wooded area. So I've come back out of the uh, wood. So when you know the area, like I do, you can pick up on places around here. So if I shoot out over here, trying to find a like well church, it's a bit covered up in there, so there's Lightwell Church over there. And then I zoom right in over there. I think that's possibly wood sets. It's a bigger area than most around here when it comes to villages. Where I'm gonna carry on. You could actually pick up footpath just there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on up here. Follow this footpath up and this should bring me right out at the end of Lays Lane on Old Coates Road. So just when it joins uh, Lays Lane, Old Coates Road, I'll be back to you. So at this point I'm going to turn left. I'll just follow this track down to Old Coach Road and when I get to the Old Coach Road I'll show you the direction of everything round here and I'll do a full 360 degree turn. All right, so I'm just about coming to the, uh, the main road, but I just thought I'd show you. Look how beautiful it is today. You couldn't get a better day than this for walking. Probably walked about 15 miles today. Like I say, I haven't been out walking since, really, since uh, the last lockdown, the first one. I only did one decent walk last week. I can't even feel that I've walked today. It's just been so nice. So, as you can see where that car's just going up, that's Lay's Lane. That's Old Coats. Road takes you up to Thropham. That takes you down to Old Coats and 35 miles in that direction. You're going to find uh, Lincoln. And most of the countryside from here to Lincoln is going to be like this. There's a built up area at Tickhill. Um, but to be honest, the countryside all the way through to Lincoln is going to be beautiful like this. And this is my footpath I've just come from. So I'm headed back in that direction up to uh, Lawton's uh, Hill Road and I'll speak to you again next week. I thought I'd just give you one last look. That was where I started off to Letwell. I zoom right down there. 
That's where Whitewell Church is, St Peter's. Back towards Old Cox Road. Swing round, takes you over to Old Cox right over there. And then wood sets down there. So I'm following this road back home to where I live and I'm once I get to the end of Lays Lane, I'm two minutes from my house, so I'm pretty much in the middle of the countryside. So like I said, I'll speak to you again next weekend with another walk.